you are struggling to find consistency and profitability and pass your funded challenges and this video is for you. Now I understand that all of these long, long ICT videos that you might be watching, these four and a half, three hour, two hour videos of ICT explaining very simple concepts, then this video is gonna be for you. I'm gonna be breaking down the three most important concepts, ICT concepts in literally 10 minutes. Now these concepts are exactly what I use in every single trade setup. I'll be breaking it down for you guys. I'll be actually showing you how you can implement this to your trading straight away after this video. And I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that you'll be able to pass funded challenges and gain that profitability edge over your trading finally after watching this video. Now this video is going to be full of value so make sure you guys are taking notes. Make sure you guys are listening. Um, I will be showing you some illustrations on the chart anyways but do make sure you guys are taking notes. So we're going to first jump straight into the video so I'm going to be noting down exactly what the three most important concepts for ICT is actually going to be. So let me actually make this bigger. Uh, I'm going to make the text black as well. Okay so first concept of ICT is going to be time. This is a very very important uh, concept so uh, time kill zone, kill zones specifically. Okay, so time is going to be the first important thing. Next thing is going to be liquidity. Liquidity is what the market runs on. Okay, so liquidity is very, very, very important. So make sure you guys understand that time and liquidity, very important. Now, the last thing is going to be um, a mark structure shift, um, along, <coughs> sorry, along with displacement. Okay, so these three are the most important things when coming to ICT trading. Okay, I want you guys to understand this. I want you guys to have, have it written down in your notes. Now, I want you guys also to understand that these three combined is going to give you insane profitability. Now, this is where it's going to gain you confidence because all of your setups are going to become starting to look exactly the same. Now, when you have a repetition in a setup what does that gain confidence so remember these three are the most important concepts to, uh, ICT concepts to trade in now time kill zones what is the times and the kill zones of trading so what actually ICT actually mentioned so time so first things first we're going to have a uh, London open kill zone now what time is this going to be this is going to be from 2 a.m to 5 a.m Okay, this is every sort of time that I'm referring to is going to be in New York timing. This is what ICT does. So if you do want to change your trading view to New York timing, just toggle this time zone uh, tab in the bottom right corner of your trading view and change it to UTC minus four New York. Now, one's going to be a London open kill zone. The next is going to be a New York open kill zone. Now that is going to be from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay, guys. So this is going to be the time aspects of things. Now. If you guys um, struggle to sort of identify the time and the kill zones, I do have an indicator that I use myself. As you can see, the green is London uh, kill zone, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. As you can see here, 5 a.m. And then we have 7 a.m. Um, to 10 a.m. Okay, so now these are gonna be called KZ boxes. If you just search up on indicators, uh, it's going to be called KZ Boxes ICT membership by unknown whatever the guy is. Okay, so do use that. These are my actual settings. So if you guys want to copy it, be um, you're more than welcome to copy the exact inputs that I got. So this is going to be the indicator that I use to actually identify the time side of things. Okay, so time is done. Okay, now liquidity. What is going? How to identify liquidity? We do have a whole video on our YouTube channel. However, I'll break it down in this video as well. So first, second thing is going to be liquidity, and this is going to be what I like to use is session highs, highs and lows, or or um, just significant highs and lows, okay? These highs and lows are gonna be liquidity. Now, how do the retail actually trade? They see breaks of highs and see a break and retest and think they can long it to the next level and then price turns around on them. This is how the retail Maybe supposedly you may also be a retail trader and this is why they get stopped out nine times out of ten as you can see this low was broken they would see this as the retest and go to short it and as you guys can see the price that just simply just turns around on them um but instead us ict traders know that this is liquidity this low when it got swept is a liquidity sweep and we would have caught this move to the upside so that's the second thing uh liquidity now mark structure shift and displacements so that's going to be our entries okay so Mark shift and uh, 
displacement. This is our entry technique. Now you can add um, <coughs> other confluences, but I just want to name the three most important things to um, uh, the three most important ICT concepts. So these are going to be the three. Now, how can we actually form this into a strategy? So this is something that I am going to share in this video. Um, I was only going to break down the three most valuable parts and ICT concepts. However, I will break it down and form a small strategy for you guys that I personally do use. It's going to be very, very brief. Remember, it will be taught in depth in our Telegram uh, channel. The link is going to be in, in the description below. It's free. Um, whoever comes through YouTube, we are going to be giving a free HFT pass. Free 100K account, 200K account, 50K account passed by us for totally free. Okay, we do tons and tons of giveaways. We share trade ideas. We share signals, as you can see here, why we actually... Um, to this trade you can even see here liquidity swept um, using the market structure shift we actually use what we teach okay uh, my most recent payout which was on the 3rd of May which was literally a week ago um, and then straight after that we had these longs so do join that in the link below okay guys do join that in the link now back to the video so how can we actually form this into some sort of strategy now it's going to be very very brief again it's going to be um, broken down in our telegram um, in a little bit more detail but I'll sort of show you guys and give you some gems so of course first things first you want to um, mark out your time so we're going to delineate our London open kill zone 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. so for example uh, let's do 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, once that's marked out, so let me just bring this over for you guys. Remember, you guys can take note of this, have this in a notebook or whatever. So once you've marked that out, prior to your session, right, you don't care what price is doing. You have no bearing on price. You don't give a crap. So let me just change this to black. Okay, so prior to your sessions, you don't have a crap what price is doing. You let do it, you go up, down, whatever it wants to do. You do not care, okay? So... Once it actually comes to your session timing, next thing to take into account is liquidity. So what you need to mark out is your liquidity. So we have this high, significant high, session high as well. So that is a great area of liquidity. Now I'm going to mark this out as liquidity for you guys. Just like so. Done. So, and then we can take into account this significant low as liquidity as well. Okay. So that's our liquidity and our time aspects done. However, why do we have these liquidity areas? We want liquidity to be swept. Now, depending on which one gets swept, depends on what we will do. So, for example, price sweeps liquidity. Now, if price sweeps our sell side liquidity, we are looking for buys because under sell side liquidity is buy stops. If it sweeps buy side liquidity above buy side, it's going to be sell stops. Okay. So now that it's actually sweeps sell side liquidity, what are we looking for? We are looking for monk shift and displacement, which is our entry technique. So we're looking for buys now. So what we'll do, we'll drop in the refinement time frame. Um, I will show you a live example after this video. So do stay till the end of the video because when I show you a live example, I'll actually be taking into account the time frames and what time frames to actually use as well. Now, once liquidity gets swept, you want to drop down into um, the five minute time frame. Once you dropped into the five minute time frame, what you want to see is a market structure shift. So, for example, we have this, and then boom, we get the market structure shift. However, we don't just want a market structure shift, we want a market structure shift with displacement. What is displacement, guys? Everyone here should know what displacement is already. I bang on about it in every single one of our videos. If I can find the rectangle. So this is a displacement candle. Okay. Big body, big energetic candle. Now, however, this is not a displacement candle. If we have something with a big body and like a huge wick, like so. Okay. So that's not displacement. This is displacement. Now, going back to uh, the sort of strategy side, we want the displacement through that market structure shift. Okay. Now, once we get that, our entry technique is simply just going to be a retracement into an order block um, where when we oh sorry let me get the path tool out when we get that retracement to an order block uh, you can use a fair value gap as well I like using order blocks we then take the entry for a long position so I actually mark this red just to show you guys that's the entry um, retracement into order block and then the entry for a long that's how simple it is but I will be showing you guys um, now a live and remember guys before I do get into it please do join our free telegram we've got tons and tons of value in here free trade breakdowns um, payouts new videos that are going to be getting let out um, we're doing free HFT passing for anyone who comes through YouTube get 100k 200k profit from account pass completely free um, just an appreciation of the great week we've actually had so do go join that and I'll be showing you guys a live example now 
So on the 15 minute time frame is where we're going to sort of delineate our liquidity. Again, I'm breaking it down in very brief. It's going to be more broken down in the Telegram. However, 15 minute, right? To So first time, we're actually going to be doing it in our New York open kill zone for this example. First things first, you want to now mark out your liquidity session highs or just significant highs and lows. So here we've got this significant high. We're going to use this as liquidity. And then we've got this session low, which is London low, which is also a significant low as a liquidity area as well. We're going to mark these two out as liquidity for you guys. Oh. Now, what you want to do is just let the session start and you want these highs and lows to be swept. So either one dependent on what we're going to be looking for for the rest of the session. So as soon as New York starts, you see how that gets swept. So we drop into the five minute. So the five minute is going to be our entry. Now, this is where we're going to be looking for an entry. Okay, guys, we're now seeking. We've done the liquidity. We've got the time, all of that. We're now seeking a mark structure shift with displacement as an entry technique. Now, where is the significant low being placed? So um, prior to it being, so as soon as it got swept, right? So as soon as it got swept, we're going to mark out this low as the, this is going to be the most, significant low why because this candle as you if I, if I zoom in the low the candle before and the candle after is higher than that low swing point so that is going to be our low okay let me just bring this over so you guys can make sure you've got this so we've got that low okay so now we just let price continue however if you watch here right oh if i go back if you see here another low gets created what is this low? Why is this a low? The candle before and the candle after it is um, higher than the swing low. So I'm actually going to have this as the new low now that we need a market shift, shift through here. Now, boom, what do we get here? A market structure shift with displacement because it was a full body through that low. So now done, we've had a market structure displacement and now we just need a retracement just for our actual entry. So I'm gonna mark out this order block. I like using order blocks, you can use fair value gaps. This order block is going to be marked out, done, okay? As soon as we get the retracement in, this is our entry. You can either set a limit or you can be literally actively watching the charts yourself. And I'm gonna have the stops just above that high. Um, just move that in. And then you can target external liquidity if you wish um or just go for a one to two um and then you're just going to let the uh, trade play out and as you can see sorry so you can either target external liquidity or just a simple one to two um i'm going to be choosing uh, just a simple nice one to two nice and easy and as you can see bang take profit gets absolutely smashed so i hope you guys found this video um valuable um uh, remember to join our telegrams in the link below free passing h100k's account 200k account get a pass for exact for completely free bear